is Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my fourth update, if I'm not mistaken, for my Blast into Project Pan. Ning. <laughs> um, this is a collab with a fantastic ladies group on Facebook. And this project is a uh, rolling project pan that is supposed to end January 1st. Um, <clears throat> and it started in, it, this project started in July. However, um, since this ends at the end of the year, um, and it's supposed to be a rolling project pan. I have been doing the rolling part. I, however, for this update will not be rolling anything in. I do have five items empty. Um, if I didn't say, I don't think I did. This is based around the solar system and each planet has a color attached to it and we picked an item that goes with that color. Um, but like I said, I am not planning on rolling anything in this year just because it's November, what today, 22nd, and it's kind of like the end of the year and like all these projects are wrapping up and I just, I don't want to add any more products. I just want to focus on what I'm working on right now and, and use up what I have. So I'm afraid that if I go ahead and I, and I add more products um, to this project, like I know I'm not going to finish them, so I feel like I'm not going to push myself to finish them. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just all here in my head. Um, but anyway, I did finish five out of the eight that I'm working on, uh, and I'm very excited. I'm going to just go in order of how the planets go, and then I'll give you guys um, the update for when that goes. So for the first planet, the color was Mercury. No, for Mercury, <laughs> the color was gray. And for that, I went with this Milk Makeup Highlighting Stick. As you guys can see, the gray is in the lettering. And this was brand new when I introduced it last update. And I felt like I hadn't been doing much progress on this guy because if I roll it all the way up, um, as you guys can see, that is how much product I have. So I, for some reason, I thought I was gonna have this done in two months. Obviously, no, because already a month went by. There's no way I'm gonna finish this in December, but um, I was feeling really bummed out because I thought, oh man, I'm not making much progress, but I actually have, I actually like wore out the dome. And as you guys can see, or I hope you guys can see like the plastic here, like the screwy thing um, is sticking out. And I have actually worn out that much, like the white part of the packaging that you guys can see, that's how much product I've used. So I have used quite a bit um, and I like this product. I like that it's very subtle for a cream highlighter because then I can also use a powder highlight on top. It's not glittery at all. It gives me a really nice glow. I put this uh, in mixture. I mix it with my foundation, with my primer, I'm sorry. And then I put my foundation on top. Sometimes I just use a powder. And I just love how my skin looks. It gives it, like I said, a really glowy look and I love it. Um, I like it, however, this smells very plasticky um i've had this for a while maybe for about a year now so maybe it has gone bad but um i'm still using it it's not breaking me out it's not giving me any sort of skincare issues but it does smell a little funky but anyway this is mercury i don't think i will be able to finish it by uh, the end of this project but i'm glad that i'm getting use out of it for venus i i was actually able to finish this for this it was the color pale yellow and I was using this body spray from Bath and Body Works in the in the scent Endless Weekend, and that's all I have left right there. But it doesn't like really spritz anymore. And then you can see the little like the wand. What do you call it? That like the straw here. What what is that called? Um, it has like a lot of air bubbles from where it's just kind of like picking up product as much as it can. Last update, I was up here, and as you guys can see, I used this all up. I really do wear this. I'm not the type of person to use body sprays as room sprays or bathroom sprays or whatever. Um, I do like apply a very generous amount in the mornings. Uh, I don't take it with me, I don't reapply it. And um, I feel like since I really like saturate myself, <laughs> I guess you can say with it, the scent really that does last a long day because um, midday at work, people can be like, oh, you smell nice. And I know it's this. So um, I like Bath & Body Works sprays. I will continue to use them. Um, I think they're great and you can always buy them on sale. So that's always good uh, The next planet is earth and for that was the color white and it's another product that I finished and that is this Too Faced hangover 3-in-1 setting spray um, Last update I was up here 
and this only goes down to here so I, it's kind of like really bright but like where the plastic this whole plastic thing it's just packaging the bottle actually begins right here so i only had this little bit left and that's kind of like how much um progress i made each month when i started using this one so um i like it i do have another one of these um I think it works fine and I would consider repurchasing only if I found it on super sale, which is how I got a hold of this to begin with. Um, but um, yeah, that's this one and I'm glad that I finished it. Mars was the color reddish brown and for that I was working on this eyeliner from Tarte. This is one of the Amazonian clay um, waterproof eyeliners. These have been discontinued. Uh, that is how much I have left. On this little piece of paper, you guys can see how much progress I made. Um, that red part, the red shaded part, that is the, the progress. So I have um, all of this still left. I don't foresee myself having much problem uh, using this up in December because this part right here is metal and I'm pretty sure the sharpener is gonna stop like some way down here because uh, you have to insert a certain amount of pencil to sharpen it and it won't go any further than, than this right here. So um, I'm, a, I'm guessing like maybe three weeks, not even the full four weeks left. Um, I'll be able to finish this one. I love these eyeliners. They're super, super creamy. Um, and I was just, I wish they were still available because oh, the sun's out and I have weird lines. <laughs> um, I wish they were still out because they're super creamy. They last all day. They don't smudge. Um, they don't, they don't run. They really stay proof. They really are waterproof and I love them so much. <laughs> I do have like two other colors. I think a gray one and a green one, uh, but then that's it. I'm all out of them. Um, so it's going to be hard to find an, another replacement for eyeliners that I really love. But anyway, rant over. That was Mars and I should have no problem finishing it by next update. Jupiter was a color orange and for that I went with this lip balm from some random brand. Uh, there's a dog hair in here but as you guys can see i finished it this is just the plastic that holds the bullet together um and there's even a little hole in here from where i was really really trying to dig um this was a colorless i'll try to give you guys a swatch a colorless lip balm it's right here um, even though the little thing is orange um it was moisturizing fine i don't really care for it i would never repurchase it i just bought it on a whim um one time at marshall's i bought a kit but i'm glad that i used it and i'm glad that i got it out of my collection i would never repurchase it or recommend it it's, it's just nothing special there are other like cheaper like the brand chapsticks the brand carmex the the nivea lip balms like there's so much there are so many better uh, lip balms at the drugstore that it's not worth it buying just like a fancy random brand for Saturn, the color was pale or light blue, and I went with this um, primer from Maybelline. This is the Pr Master Prime uh, Hydrating and Smoothing Face Primer. Um, this was a fine primer. I actually enjoyed it actually quite a bit. I think it did a fine job in priming my skin. Um, I would consider purchasing again in the full size. This was kind of like a lotion type uh, primer. Um, you can't even get anything out anymore. Um, but it was a lotion type primer and it just went really smooth on my skin. It didn't um, intervene with like my skincare. Sometimes certain primers and skincare um, can ball up on your face, but this one didn't do that. I didn't have a problem with it and I would consider repurchasing it in the future. I really, really did um, think it was a good primer. For Uranus, the color was uh, pale gold. And for that, I went with an easy one, a mascara from Tarte. This is the Tarteiste um lash paint mascara i am wearing it today it's a mascara that i've been using every single day for the past month this is a deluxe size um so i foresee myself being able to finish it by the end of next month usually that's how long i use deluxe size samples for about two months if they don't dry out before then so this one is working fine i think it's a fine mascara there are mascaras from the drugstore that i honestly like better so i wouldn't um Look, go into buying that one in the full size. I just think it's an okay mascara. Uh, and then for lastly for Neptune, the color was dark blue. And for that, I went with a navy blue because navy blue is technically a dark blue um, eyeliner from Laura Geller. This is the Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Liner. This is a retractable pencil, and nothing clicks up anymore. Um, so you guys can see that's the pencil right there. 
And last update, I had this much left and I was able to use everything up. Um, I just kind of like measure from like right here, like sorry, from right here. Um, and as you guys can see, I used this much plus this much, which equals, I think, approximately how much I have left for that other eyeliner. And considering that, like I said, that I don't think that the sharpener is gonna go all the way to the bottom, I foresee myself finishing up like like right here maybe, um, and then I'll be able to finish it. But this um, eyeliner was really nice. I had purchased it going on two years now uh, from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I do have three other ones, but I think they're in color. I think my one might be brown and another one black. I don't quite remember, but I do have two other ones. They worked fine. Um, however, not my favorite eyeliners, but they did, they did the job, so I can't complain. So for next update, guys, I will only be working on three items, two for which I'm sure will be finished. Um, and then that highlighter stick from Milk Makeup, we'll see how much more progress I can um, get out of that, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.